Okay guys, um, I'm going to read you the last few pages of a book I've been reading. Um, the book is called The Book of Awesome, and it's not a deep or complex book, it's just, it's just a book that reminds you of the simple things in life that make life brilliant. Um, as humans, I think we just tend to worry too much about life. I think we should just let life take its course and enjoy the ride. I guess we're all going to have highs and lows in our life and this book just takes your mind off them and um, it just talks about simple yet brilliant things that happen in everyday life. Um, little things like just on a hot night in summer when you just flip the pillow over to the cool side and for the next two or three minutes it's just absolute bliss or um, when you're on an airplane and you get the whole aisle to yourself and you just get to lie down um, what else um, walking past a bakery and um, just the, the smell of fresh bread in the morning just simple little things that uh, can make you smile so alright um, I'm going to read the last couple of pages of this book and uh, I hope you understand the message it's just it's just be grateful for being alive and live life to the full like every moment counts and just follow your dreams um, sometimes you just got to be persistent and just not give up just keep trying remember it won't happen if you just sit on your couch and feel sorry for yourself you've got to for things to change in your life you have to make changes so all right um i'm gonna read the next couple of pages of this book and uh i hope you enjoy it okay let's go on a field trip put your shoes on because we're heading outside take a bowling ball and drop it on the edge of your driveway that's our sun yeah, the ball is only 8 inches across, and the actual sun is 800,000 miles across. But that's our scale for this little brainwave. Okay, now walk down your street 10 big paces and drop a grain of salt on your neighbor's lawn. That's Mercury. Take 9 more paces down the street and drop a peppercorn for Venus. And then take another 7 paces, so now you're 2 or 3 houses down the block, and toss down another peppercorn. You got it. That peppercorn is Earth. Here we are, basking in the blazing sun, 26 big steps away from the bowling ball. Our giant planet is just a tiny speck in the middle of nowhere. But here's the crazy part, it gets a whole lot bigger. If you keep walking, Mars is only a couple more houses away, but Jupiter ends up 95 big paces down the street, out of the neighborhood, and halfway to the corner store. By now, a dog is probably slobbering in the bowling ball finger holes and kids are flying by you on their bikes, slurping, tri tripping popsicles and wondering what's up with this nut tossing crumbs on the sidewalk, acting out some demented suburban version of Ansel and Gretel. If you want to finish off our solar system, you're going to have to start taking two and three hundred paces for the remaining planets, eventually dropping a grain of salt for Pluto half a mile away from the bowling ball. You can't see the bowling ball with its binoculars. It's getting cold out for your long walk home. But here's a crazier part. That's just our solar system. That's just our bunch of rocks flying around our big bright bowling ball star. It turns out our big bright star and all its salt grains and peppercorns are racing around a cosmic racetrack with 200 billion other big bright bowling ball stars. You would have to cover the entire Earth with bowling balls 8,000 times to represent the number of stars in our racetrack. Did we mention this racetrack has a name? Yep. It's called the Milky Way Galaxy, presumably because it's in the zoo. First noticed it, we were all eating delicious Milky Way candy bars late Friday night down at the telescopes. So basically, our bowling ball, salt and peppercorns are flying in the fast lane around a ridiculously giant racetrack galaxy called the Milky Way with billions and billions of other bowling balls, salt grains and peppercorns. But are you ready for the craziest part? That's just our galaxy.
galaxy. Guess how many giant racetrack galaxies there are in outer space? Oh, not many. Just more than we can possibly count. Honestly, nobody knows how many galaxies are out there in the big blackness. All we know is that every few years somebody stares out a little farther and finds a million more of them just shining away in the void. We don't know how deep it goes because our rocket ships don't blast off that far and our thickest, fattest telescopes can't see that far. Now, all this space talk might have us feeling small and insignificant. But here's the thing. Here's the big thing. Here's the biggest thing of all. Of the millions of places we've ever seen, it appears as though Earth is the only place that can support life. The only place. Oh sure, there could be other life-giving planets we haven't seen yet. But the point is that Earth could easily have been a clump of sulfur gas been lying in the darkness forever. Or have winters that tip a couple hundred degrees and last 20 years like Uranus's. On this planet Earth, the only one in the giant dark blackness where anything can live, we ended up being humans. Congratulations, us. We're the only species on the only life-giving rock capable of love and magic. Architecture and agriculture, truly, and democracy, airplanes and highway lanes. We're the only ones with interior design and horoscope of signs, fashion magazines and house party scenes, horror flicks with monsters, guitar jams and concerts. We got books, buffets and radio waves, wedding brides and roller coaster rides, clean sheets and good movie seats, bakery air and rain air, bubble wrap and illegal naps. We got all that, but people, listen up. We only get a hundred years to enjoy it. I'm sorry, but it's true. Every single person you know will be dead in a hundred years. The foreman at your plan, the cashiers at your grocery store, every teacher you ever had, anyone you ever woken up beside, all the kids on your street, every baby you ever held, every bride who's walked down the aisle, every telemarketer who called you at dinner, every politician in every country, every actor in every movie, everyone who's cut you off on the highway, everyone in the room you're sitting in right now, everyone you love, and you. Life is so great we only get a tiny moment to enjoy everything we see, and that moment is right now, and all that moment is counting down, and that moment is always getting, is always fleeting. You will never be as young as you are right now, so whether you're enjoying your first tooth of turkey, cold cuts, and marvelling at apples from South Africa, dreaming of strange and distant relatives from, from thousands of years ago, or staring into the blackness of deep, deep space, just remember how lucky we all are to be here right now. If you feel, if you feel the same sense of wonder and beauty in all the tiny joys in life, then you're a part of the international band of old souls and optimists, Smiling on the sidewalks, dancing in weddings, and flipping to the other side of the pillow. Let's all high five and keep thinking wild thoughts, dreaming big dreams, and laughing loud laughs. Thank you so much for reading this book. Thank you all for being so awesome.